Welcome, and thank you for joining us for today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread on the 1st of April 2024. The Bible reading today is Hebrews chapter 10, verses 19 to 25. Therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way opened for us through the curtain that is his body, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and with the full assurance that faith brings, having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. Today's article, titled Meeting Together in Jesus, was written by Alison Kaida. When I went through an extended period of emotional and spiritual pain and struggle due to difficult circumstances in my life, it would have been easy for me to withdraw from church, and sometimes I did wonder why bother. But I felt compelled to keep attending each Sunday. Although my situation remained the same for many long years, worshipping and gathering with other believers in services, prayer meetings and Bible study supplied the encouragement I needed to persevere and remain hopeful. And often I'd not only hear an uplifting message or teaching, but I'd receive comfort, a listening ear or a hug I needed from others. The author of Hebrews wrote, Don't give up meeting together, as some of you are in the habit of doing, but encourage one another. This author knew that when we face hardships and difficulties, we'll need the reassurance of others, and that others would need ours. So this scripture writer reminded readers to hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, and to consider how to spur one another towards love and good deeds. That's a big part of what encouragement is. That's why God leads us to keep meeting together. Someone may need your loving encouragement, and you may be surprised by what you receive in return. Let's pray. Loving God, Help me not to give up meeting together with other believers, but to experience together your peace and love. Amen. Thanks for listening today. My name is Naomi and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.